Hey guys, Matt from Sax School here. It's fun to play with a singer, and it sounds really good when you do it the right way. But if you don't have a clear plan of what you're gonna do and how you're gonna go about it, it can get pretty bad, and you can easily start to sound like that guy. <laughs> I learned a lot in school, but I mostly learned on the job. Touring with Brandon Flowers, recording for Snoop Dogg, doing all of these like super high pressure gigs. So it wasn't easy, but if I could do it, you can do it too. So today you'll learn two techniques that'll make you sound good right off the bat when you start playing with a singer. And hey, if you wanna learn more about playing with a singer, I did a whole module on it in saxschoolonline.com, all different styles and genres of music. Grab your 14 day free trial, which is still running, in the description. All right, so inside Sax School Online, we go through five steps, but today we're gonna focus on the first two, and number one, the most imperative and important one, is learn the melody. It's so important to learn the melody for a variety of reasons, and maybe one of the most important is to know what notes the singer is singing, because eventually, we can use those notes. Today, we're gonna focus on the track Flowers by Miley Cyrus. All right, so step one, Learn the notes, right? Uh, we don't have to worry about anything else. We don't have to worry about a key or anything like that. Just learn the notes of the melody. Some of us are not ear training geniuses and can't transcribe super fast and super accurately. So what can we do? Well, we can take a note by note approach. So if we play the song, we listen, we hear the first note, cool. Pause the song, write down the first note. Hear the second note, cool. Write down the second note. I know it's time consuming, but it will help you transcribe melodies and in the long run, you'll get better and faster. Now we have the notes of the chorus, but what's just as important as the notes is how they're sung, right? So we're gonna play this melody, but I really want you to focus on how she sings it. And a really cool method that I learned was to learn the lyrics of the song and sing it with the singer. You don't have to be the best singer in the world. You can do it like alone in your room like I do. But <laughs> learn the lyrics and sing it along so you get a feeling in your mouth, you get a feeling in your throat of how the song is phrased and how she says words because we wanna translate that onto the saxophone. And you'll see why later. Here's an example of how it probably shouldn't sound. And here's what we're looking to achieve. Sweet, all right, so let's play this melody together. We're gonna trade every four bars. I'll go first, and the metronome will count us in two bars before we start. Nice job. All right, so we've got the chorus melody under our fingers. Now on to step two. Are there any other melodic lines that stick out to you? Maybe a bass line, a guitar line, a string line? Well, you've guessed it. There is a string line. Uh, right at the end on the chorus, there's a really cool string line that's really prominent and sounds really, really nice. So let's take a look at that string line together. Now, if you're unsure of how to go about this, you can use the same techniques we used on the chorus melody to transcribe this string line. You can go note by note, take your time, no big rush. And again, it'll make you faster in the long run and you'll get so much better at just your ear training. So let's go ahead and play this string melody line together. We'll trade every four bars just like we did on the chorus and the metronome will count us in two bars before we start.
So we have a chorus melody line that we can play. We have a string melody line that we transcribe that we can play. Guess what? Now we have a whole bunch of notes that we can use on our improvisation that we know sound good because they're in the melody. Take a look at the notes. If you consolidate them between the vocals and the strings, all that's happening is a D major scale for tenor and an A major scale for alto. So we know that we can play those scales over this song and sound really good. But now the real work begins. One of the most important things to figure out in any song is where to play and how to play. She's singing very melodically. I would say let's play more rhythmically against her or you can compliment her and play melodically. What else are we gonna bring to the table? Can we play minor blues? Can we play major blues? Do we wanna bring in a pentatonic scale? Do we wanna play passing tones? This technique of transcribing melodies really apply to any song in any genre. This is like the first thing you wanna do when approaching a song to play with a singer. And if you wanna dive deeper into playing with a singer, head on over to saxschoolonline.com where we expand upon harmonic ideas and most importantly, where to play and how to play because it differs for every song in every genre. So head on over to saxschoolonline.com to check out my module, The Fundamentals of Playing with a Singer. I'll see you there.